Hello, welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. I do videos primarily on Windows and Linux for beginners, usually. Well, speaking of Linux for beginners, one of the best Linux-based operating systems on the planet for beginners and really for everybody is Windows, is not Windows, but Ubuntu Mate or Ubuntu Mate. This is version 15.10. This is what I use when I am not booting into Windows. Running this inside a virtual box. I thought about installing this, but you know what? I cannot think of the last time the installer crashed. So we'll just do try Ubuntu Mate. If you're interested in this, all the links will be below in the show notes. Now I'm running this inside a virtual box, so this is generally not the best way to test a virtual uh, or to test a Linux distribution, but it is certainly one of the safest ways to test any operating systems because you don't have to give up your Windows 10 operating system. So let's go ahead and test this and see what we have. All right, this is the welcome screen. Very nice. This, uh, this became new, I believe, in the previous version of uh, made 15.04 let's go to features okay modern and full feature pre-configured security and so forth if you are new to the world of Linux definitely strongly recommend you take a look at the wealth welcome screen very nice all right the default desktop you right click in Linux as you could of course in Windows and this will give you some options including to change the background the wallpaper I think I'll leave this the way it is. I, th I think it's fine. Uh, make note that it will run a little bit slow inside a virtual box. And actually, uh, this is actually the wrong machine uh, for me to be testing this. This is an old dual core desktop. But I wanted to show you that if you have an older, outdated machine, this lightweight distribution would be perfect. All right, getting back to this, I want to draw your attention to the top panel here. Right click, add to panel. Let's go to another version of the menu. Um, yeah, main mate menu. All right, there's a little spoke wheel here. Now I want to show you this because if you go to Windows 10 here to the start button and right click, you see you have a single file or a single row of commands. You can get the same functionality, the same look at least by left clicking here. And there, this is all your pre-installed uh, software. Now you don't have to do that. You can just go to application, places, system, applications, places, and system, and go from there. This might be a little bit easier for you if you are new to this. If you don't need it, don't really care, that's okay. You can just right click, remove, and there you go. It's that simple. You could also add it here at the bottom, a dark grayish panel, add to panel. These are called applets. And this is really one of the main reasons I really love this old uh, GNOME 2 type of desktop environment. Very user-friendly, extremely customizable. Functionality is awesome, especially for beginners. All right, let's take a look at a few pieces of software that are installed. Now, some of these you may have seen in Windows, such as, of course, Firefox. We go to sound and video, of course, VLC. If we go to system tools, let's go to, let's see, let's go to the system monitor. All right, now this is actually not installed, but I just want to give you an idea that this really does not use a lot of memory. Let's go to system. Let's go back to administration. We can go back to the welcome screen. And I believe when you install this, there is, I believe, another shortcut for um, software, if I am not mistaken. I could be wrong, but definitely take a look at this if you are new to the world of Linux. The bottom panel here does give you four workspaces and the trash icon, the trash shortcut by default. You can remove the bottom panel if you want to, delete this panel, and just have one. I'm only testing this, so I'll just keep it the way it is. If you want to install this, this has a very, very user-friendly uh, installer, as they usually do. 
If you follow the instructions, it should not be that difficult. English, continue. Now, I will not install this. I just wanted to give you a quick example. But anyway, for best results, and if you have, make sure you have at least 6.6 .6 gigs of RAM connected to the internet. I would highlight download updates while installing. Install that also. Continue. Um, if you don't want to do it, just go quit. Click quit and get out of that. I currently have the previous version, Ubuntu 15.04. I will be upgrading to 15.10, if anything, to give me a natural upgrade path for the next release in six months will be an LTS release, a long-term support. And that one, I believe, will be supported for, uh, I believe it's five years. I could be wrong. Anyway, definitely check this out. I affectionately call this version of Ubuntu uh, Mate Mate, the Romantic OS. If you don't know what that means, I don't blame you. Check out my interview with the lead developer, Martin Wimpress. He explains on why he created this, and it has something to do uh, with his wife. A wonderful, warm story. All the links will be below in the show notes. All right, well, that's it for this one. Uh, let me know if you definitely want to try this or if you install it. I, I think you like it. I certainly do. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Be safe.